women, but the most important goddesses were black. Nothing for the African now in the civilization of the Greeks. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her, is Circe, who's represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek battle. The woman who helps Jason win the golden fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is a Family, yo, thank you for joining us, right? And I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about the Army journey, see some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe. Tribe up with us and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be somewhere in here Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni Journey, and let's build the journey. definition of self-care, self-love, and repeat. We are what we create in this life. Bombskin & Co. chooses to create something innovative and unforgettable. Check out our website for more information. Spirit Over Flesh LLC is a wellness-based business where we heal through words. I'm Tiandra, I'm the founding servant leader. It is a black owned, woman owned business that was founded in Ohio, but that can serve the world. Um, through virtual sessions, either by phone or video conference, we have a conversation. We always start with a 15 minute consult where we just make sure that I learn a little bit about you, you learn some about me, and then we schedule some time to be intentional about your wellness journey. During the time, it's about education and empowerment. You are your own best doctor from within. So I'm literally someone who is just intentional in the space and drawing questions out of you to get you further on your wellness journey. Sessions are typically starting at $80, but if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're gonna go ahead and take 20% off. It's about getting you well so that we can be well, right? Kuji Chagalia and Ujima collective responsibility. 
so grateful for the opportunity to support you in your wellness journey. If you're interested, go to my website, spiritoverfleshllc.com. There's a button that says, let's connect, fill out the form, and I'll get right back to you. Again, that's spiritoverfleshllc.com. I look forward to supporting you in your wellness journey and healing through words. Are you heading out of town or have a special occasion? What about birthdays, anniversaries, or reunions? Get the best deals and inexpensive rental car rates, mid-sized sedans, compact cars, and more. We have a variety of fleet vehicles to accommodate any and all of your rental car needs. Make a reservation today at your local budget rental car on Hamilton Road in Whitehall. Call 614-863-7500. <laughs> I'm Carla and my sister Karen and I own two natural sisters. We've been in business for five years and we sell a line of natural bath body and candle products. Let's take a look. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Two Natural Sisters. All items that are in stock will be shipped within 24 to 48 hours. As a promotional item, we offer a CD of black romantic poetry of self-love and coupled love and 50% discount on sister locks, brother locks by consultant Sapphire Donetta Mahati. If you have any questions, you can reach us at customer care at two natural sisters.com. Enjoy and happy Kwanzaa. What's going on? My name is Doe. I am the owner and creator of Madeline Jen. Madeline Jen is best described as a celebratory art experience that exudes hella blackness. Initially, the company was founded to provide a luxurious but affordable art experience and has since transformed itself into something a bit more spiritual. By walking in what I believe to be my truth, I've been able to get in contact with my ancestors and use my platform and my art, my gift, to tell their untold stories. I do that by using different textures, by utilizing different mediums, colors, and just making things pop out so that it's open for interpretation. I love, 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 love creating, and I can't wait to be of service to you. Thank you. I am a genius. My ancestors were geniuses. My ancestors have made I love this commercial. and all that I think, say, and do. I must declare myself a genius. I am a genius. Whenever I am myself, I practice my geniusness and do great things. All my thoughts, choices, and deeds must express my geniusness. I am a genius. My decisions must always be in the best interest of myself, my family, my people, and my God. Only then will I and everyone I know know that I am a genius. I am a genius. At all times, my geniusness must reflect my culture. My geniusness must serve my God. My geniusness must make me be one in love and harmony with my family. My geniusness must protect my people. Yes, yes at all times, I must demonstrate excellence because I am a genius. The Purpose Driven Society is a black owned, woman owned business local to Columbus who creates accessories that have intentional messaging. Our specialty are buttons. Buttons can be weared anywhere, on a shirt, on a book bag, on a hat. The beautiful thing about buttons is that you can change them and switch it up depending on your mood or the day. 
For election day, we wore a very intentional button. On my book bag, my student's book bag, it says, you are already intelligent, educate yourself. Buttons are empowering with the messages that we create. Again, we do them very intentionally. At the Purpose Driven Society, we're minding our black owned business and hope that you'll help mind ours too by doing business with us. Our buttons go for $3 for one, five for two, $7 for three. But if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're doing a special where you'll get a, an assortment of buttons for just $20 and we'll ship anywhere in the country. So again, that's the Purpose Driven Society. We can be re reached at the Purpose Driven Society at Outlook.com. Send us an email and we will put together a very intentional bag of buttons for you and ship it straight to your home. Happy Kwanzaa. Thanks for doing business with us. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. pray. Water. Grab your glass. Lift your pitcher of that water. Or bottle. 
Get that picture of that water. Uh huh. Simply pour some water. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should water. I say, lift, pour, then drink. Now move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Move your body. Move your body and drink some water. Bam. Just move your body. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, move, move, then drink. Move your body. Now raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors, fam. Just raise your glass. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Or should I say, raise, toast, then drink. Take your breath and drink some water. Take your breath. Lift and pour yourself some water. Pour. Move your body, drink some water. Move it. Raise your glass and toast your ancestors. Breathe, lift, move, toast. But remember to stay healthy. Remember the four pillars. Breathe, drink, eat, move. Drink half your weight in ounces. Eat a culturally appropriate diet. Behave. Take your breath. Come on. Lift and pour. You can do it. Move your body. Come on. Come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink up. Come on. Drink it. Drink it. Drink it. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Drink it. Lift and drink it. Come on. Drink that health in. Drink. 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 Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift and pour. Lift it. Move your body. Come on, come on. Toast your ancestors. Drink, 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 drink. Drink your water. Drink, 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 drink. Come on, come on. Drink your water. Take your breath. Lift it, pour. Come on, pour it. Move your body. Move, move. Toast your ancestors. Come on. Drink, 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 drink. What? Drink your water. Tribalhood, a beautiful day in the tribalhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be? I gotta come up with an end for that now since I'm changing the lyrics. I gotta come, cause tribe. Ah! Let us be tribal! Family, 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 great, great Nia to you. Man, I turned on this thing, and I was falling asleep. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. And I'm like, uh, but then, 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 then the energy just start coming in the room. I turn on the song, and I just go through the gestures, and it's like, I feel so much better. You understand what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, um, those of you that's been following the blog, cause you know, I, I do have a blog. I would, I started off blogging. Once again, I'd start off blogging. I found out about this thing called podcasting. I figured out how to do a podcast. And then somebody, one of my sister, actually it was sister Jackie called me one day cause I was doing everything on Google. And she said, brother, Hi, Tim, you need to get on Facebook. So I got on Facebook and I started making posts. I got on Twitter and I took like a 90-day haiku challenge that turned into about like a two or three-year haiku rant 
You know, I all my posts was haikus about the news or about how how thing how I was feeling and blah blah blah. Then live streaming came. I said, "What?" Well, first I started putting it up on uh, YouTube, so I would get up earlier, earlier than I'm getting up now, and format the show. If you go back to the early early days before it was called Daily Toaster, right? You see the productions. You see, I mean, because I used to, I I would get up. I would do all this stuff, and then I would sit down, and I would cut it, and then get ready, get my iron, my clothes on, my kids' clothes, and off to the adventure. But then live streaming came. Said, what? I can interact with people live, and I could do it. I'm like, yo, shit, I'm, I'm, I'm used to, you know, just going like this anyway, so why not? So I did it. Then I found out now YouTube was allowing live streaming because I would live stream on Facebook. Then YouTube started. I said, oh, all right. So then all that took away time from me doing my blogs and doing my writings and stuff like that. So now I'm getting back because, uh, like I said, man, I got this little book that I could just write stuff in, send it straight up. It's a PDF. I know I could have I could have been did that, but I said no, nah, because this little book, you know, it gives me that 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 writing sensation. And it's something about the, you know, I'm I'm sort of how some of my friends are about books. They want to be able to touch the books, they want to be able to feel the books, the whole opening the book and, and, and being able to mark the book up and, and, and deal with the book makes them feel good. I could deal with ebooks, even though I don't really read the ebooks. I like I like this too, but I will get on and I will read articles and I read pieces of the ebook. Um, but I, the books that I'm really getting into now is the audio. But writing for me is like that. You see my little writing, my little writing tools all around me, right? Writing helps me. So, um, you know, so I I fired up my blog again because I could write it, just take a picture of it and be like. Send it up. People want to read it. They want to struggle through and laugh at my handwriting. By all means, do. If not, boom, it's cool. I'm not, you know, I'm not going back and retyping and all that. And and, and what's cold about this system is that they figuring out my handwriting. So in a minute, I'm going to be able to post it up if I choose to and post it with um, how they define what I wrote. You know, go in and make a few corrections, but that kind of kills the process for me. I want people to really get to know me, really get to see what, you know what I'm saying, what's pushing me. You know what I'm saying? What 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 pushes me in, in, in this Giami thing, right? So you'll start seeing little things like, you know, in my story and 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 on my blog and stuff like that that I'm writing and, and it's coming. You know what I'm saying? And it's actually helping me with my work because now, now I don't have to sit up in front of a computer and just do stuff all the time. I can write down notes. I can write down ideas real quick. You know what I'm saying? Take a picture of it, send it up, do something with it. You know what I'm saying? And I got it on file. So I don't never have to worry about losing the notebook. Like I have lost many, many, many notebooks. So the title of the show today is you can either have change or chains. You can either have change or change. Because I woke up this morning in in, in, a, in in a different space. And in, in my younger days, we used to call it those crossroads. You kind of feel when you're coming up to a crossroad, things start to happen out the blue. It's like, oh, shit. And... Either you can embrace the the crossroad, embrace the change. Because at a crossroad, what a cross, crossroad symbolizes is that a choice has to be made for the journey to continue. Now, I can stop the journey right there at a crossroad and look like a fool sitting there with a tent. Because some people choose to do that. Some people build their house at a crossroad. You know what I'm saying? Some people, you know, become comfortable with the crossroad because I don't want to make the change but that becomes change those of us 
that don't want to embrace the change, we just stay at the crossroad, thinking that it's safe for us, not realizing that a crossroad is where a lot of people come. A lot of people come and they approach the crossroads because those crossroads is, is, a, is, a, is a change point for everybody. It's not just you. So when you build your house at a crossroad, you are always going to have intruders. You're always going to have visitors. You're never going to be able to actually be you because you always going to have to accommodate someone else. Many of us, when we approach these crossroads in our life, build our house, set up our tent, become comfortable and complacent with the crossroad. And if that's what you like, then like your chains. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. But some of us want to continue on the journey because I want to see what's down the road. See, because when, I, when I'm stuck at the crossroad, I don't get to see what's down the road. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I don't get to explore. I don't really get to grow because I'm stuck right there at the crossroad. I, I'm an I'm a expert at that choice. I'm an expert right there in that moment. But I don't know what's beyond that moment. And many of us, we're taking advice from people who stopped their journey. Many of us are living with people who stopped their journey. You know what I'm saying? They're not happy. They always just, you know what I'm saying? Because that traveler, we are a natural traveling people. Maybe not nomadic. Nomadic is being a little bit different. That's like you just, that's another chain. You know what I'm saying? You can settle down and, and, and get the lesson, enjoy the journey, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? But many of us desire to move. Many of us desire to explore. Many of us want to accept that challenge. Many of us embrace fear because we know on the other side of fear is something waiting for us. There's a story that I penned, and I got to find it in my blog about... Um, I'm thinking it's about uh, the mythic hero in in our crew called G. Um, those that saw the piece that Giami did for the Warrior Speaks, they kept saying G. Um, and the very actually the very poem that uh, the young Taikis did was about our mythic hero, G. You know what I'm saying? And as G was trying to organize all of the black folk, in the time that he existed before time in the mythic place in combining these people he had to go to each village or each town to do it and it was one town that was being terrified and enslaved and bothered by this beast and g goes to the town and he finds out what their issue is so g being who he is if you know the story being who he is he gonna go face this beast he goes out there by himself with what he has and as g approached the beast they got into a tussle and the beast embraced G, and G embraced the beast, and, and they're wrestling. And in some form or fashion, the beast was asking G if he recognized it. And in the recognition and in noticing what this beast was, and embracing the beast and not running from the beast. The beast was transformed. G struggled with this beast. G facing this beast. G dealing with not only these other people's fears. He understood what this thing was and in him embracing it and coming into conflict with it and, and, and wrestling with it enabled this beast to transform. And this beast was transformed into a baby girl. 
that G grabbed and held and took back to the village. And he made it the village's responsibility to raise this girl. And this girl's state, what she became, would determine whether or not this village, this tribe, this group of people would be able to be able to come into this 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 group of tribes that G was building. That girl's welfare determined de determined the fate of that village when it came to them entering the federation. So he said, going from town to town like Stacey Abrams recruiting voters, <laughs> but it's the you know what I'm saying? Being able to face that fear. Being able to deal with that because that's what the journey is about. I don't know what's coming around the corner. I just know that I'm prepared to the best of my ability and I have faith in the fact that my ancestors are with me and I have been prepared along the way. And I get it. I get it. But I know some people ain't built like that. And that's cool. And, and new things and changes can be terrifying you get froze become miserable get scared it's cool it's cool but you got your choice you can have change or you can have chains it's all on you but now it's time for us to get to the toast we're going to lift up our ancestors. I think I had the original yesterday. I'm going to go in and indulge in some red. I got to cut it. But, hey, family, we're about to lift up our glass. We're about to lift up our glass. Matter of fact, that was the first daughter of G. But I, I, never, I never finished it because I'm waiting for some of the young people to come of age and have enough, enough life experience so they can so that they could do it, you know what I'm saying? The one thing about our tribe is like we, you know, we got our traditions, but you know what I'm saying? As Elder Tony say, tradition and reason ain't getting stuck. So we got to build into the culture for us not to get stuck, you know? I had a couple of young young brothers. As a matter of fact, one of the things that kind of cheered me up today, as far as this change, because I, um, if you look at my blog, it'll pop up around 10 o'clock, if you look, on the timeline this morning or the my uh instagram as well i mean I, shit, i might have posted up on everything i did a haiku about change i'm like damn it's i'm about to hit it i'm the crossroads is coming i'm, I'm approaching these crossroads but anyway so i'm sitting up here like oh for a second like whoa is me damn damn this is gonna hurt i said okay and um, I look on my phone, and there's one of those pop-up head messages. And it's one of my sons. 604. I said, wow. And the only thing that it said was, Dad. That's all it said. Six oh, I'm like, 604? On a near morning? So I texted him, I said, what's up? And I thought about it. I said, my son calling me. That's a call. So I called him, I said, um, he answered the phone, I said, you call me? He said, yeah, dad, uh, I'm going down the rabbit hole. I said, what, I'm going down the rabbit hole? What you mean you going down the rabbit hole? He says, I need to make some changes in my life. And the stuff that I'm running into, I found out that I was already involved in all this. I said, no shit. I'm, I, I, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> and we got to understand, family, like I tell people all the time, family, some of y'all think that our children are like cyclical crops where you could plant corn. And you go out in three months, you got corn. No, man, I'm, our babies is like trees. Plant the seeds. 
weeded till they strong enough to fight the weeds off themselves. And give them time. They're going to bear fruit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, go up to a young person and be like, I believe in you. That's one of those seeds. They see what you do. They see how you live. They get to experience it through you while they're growing up. And then when they go out, they'll manifest. You know what I'm saying? Some of the some of your best parts of you and some of the worst parts of you. But they're going to manifest. Just make sure you expose them to things that they can use. So that when they run into the quote unquote rabbit hole. Or they come up, up on that crossroad. You know, they at least have a dime so that they could call you. Some of y'all too young to understand what that means. <laughs> Damn, I'm old. I can remember when... I can remember when uh, phones used to cost a dime to make a call. Man, oh, man, I remember having to make long-distance calls at a phone booth. Anybody else ever had to experience that? And you got to have all the change. <laughs> man, all right, but anyway. So we lift up our glass. We salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call the creator. We lift up that creator. And we humbly lift up that glass and we say, the word of power. What's your word of power? I use Ashe. What's your word of power? Ashe. From there, family, move on. And you know where we're going. We're going to the list of our ancestors. Where we salute and we toast them every day, family. Just toast them every day. Just know, man, if you, if you are participating in this so-called experiment, this five-year-long experiment, you will start noticing changes. And if you don't, you need to stop. I'm into bringing value. I'm into bringing results. At Giami Journey, we make it happen. You know what I'm saying? We make it happen. So if it's not happening for you, Giami might not be for you. The toast might not be for you. But I've noticed changes in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um... But anyway, let's say ancestral intercessions. But anyway, um, Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin, the Texas, and the Davis, Hunter Brown, Senior, Rose Lee, Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Christopher, Penny, Gaston, Adeline, Uncle Chris, I'm Fiend, Cleveland, Geneva Brown, Margaret Ellis, Wash Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Avar Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown, the second Barbara Twiggs, Wash Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tapper, John Flar, Montague Pimpinel, No More X, Pet Mount, Rob, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Coach Okamal, Elder Farmer, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf, Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Everett Burfro, Actor Jr., J. Edwards, Carl Hayes, Grace Lundy, Inez Hayes, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, starting Lucy Wright, Dick, Gail, Paulina, Luxor Brothers, Ms. Eda Brooks, Crawley, Ms. Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Ms. Jerry Brunson, Ms. Alonzo Johnson, Ms. Marie McDowell, Jennifer Foster, Charles Jordan, Kel Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Trigg, Francis Johnson, May Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Danny Ford, George Gibson, Nana Dorella Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renum in Virginia, Rogers, Reverend James Smith, Lewis Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Melvin Dale Hodge, Melvin Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beatty, Sarah Weller, Vita Farmer, I'll go to Sue, Shell Harvey, I'm Charmaine, I'm Evelyn Theodore Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury, Sr., Leonard Dickinson, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Berry, Mark Walsh, Murray B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joe Anthony, 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 Trisha Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary, Eliza Fred Davis, Mary Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther, Keechler, Reese, Linda Watson, Hammond, Jarrell Giles, Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy, Seven, Lewis, Andrew Holmes, Percy Moore, Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bolton, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hitter Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Levina Hall, Freeman Bankster, Mary Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kennedy, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quails, Uranian Thornton, Bernie Quails, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, Jane Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hadley, Levester, Mary Morland. Paul Morland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martinier, Elder Amatel Wellman, Fred Douglas, Triggs, the second being the Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Wood Joe Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Demico Russell, Lydia Monaries, Jenny Ruth Jones, Janet Callahan. First page. We got um, shots out to Miss Navita C. Uh, she said, chocolatey, chocolatey, <laughs> positive vibes, shots out, shots out, I see you out there, 
Um, page two, we got William Walter West, Nigel Paris, Yoda Basiji, Fulani, Jim Robinson, and Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Denise Waters, Defridis Hines, Anna Bostic, Anna Bostic, Winifrey Scanderberry, Wilson Haley, Emma Hine, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spradling, Kevin Spradling, Charles Wooden, Pitty Brown, Roy Lee, Print Up Jr., Ming Johnson, Wilbur Longmire, Ida Catney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Leon Pina Carter, Mark Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan, Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Naylon Blair Sr., Edwards. Sam Ev Naylon Blair. Ah, oh, messed up at the seniors again. We'll get it together. We'll get it together. Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Cardinal Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingles, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingles, R.G. Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensible, Hazel Gaston, J. Brownlee, Brian Watson Jr., Kaniko Parsons, Jason Kathy Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Gypsy. We got Reverend Roosevelt Word, the first stage trash, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael, Linda Day, Brown, Ruth Carter, June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Urban, Judy Hubbard, Irene Johnson, Friends, Booth, Jefferson, Dan Wilkerson, Senior, and McClendon, Jerry Doyle, I mean, Robinson, Mary Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabak Teray, Gray G2 Gibson, Don Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie Morgan Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Peck, Anna McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, I'm Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arthur. Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eulen Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, Gwendolyn and Bob Hash, Kimball, Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie here, Tubman Cates, Mr. Sturgis, Sally Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Criola Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Eno, Baby Hatch, Hassim, Mally Miller, Halsey Hashtag, Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Act, Nixon, John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Fred Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Copa, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Friends, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slade, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, and Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Kizzy Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Albert Motley, Joe Dean Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erickson Houston, Lud Oz, Elijah Oz, Jerome Oz, Henry West Staten, Joe Jamel Oz, and Pierce, Donald Carla, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beard, Tim Butler, Remy Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Baba Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, J.C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Brownlee Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Muriel Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henry Ed Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Captain Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Irvin, Irene Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Caldwell Sr., Robert Lee Caldwell, Nevada Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rishon Easley, Javier McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shango Maha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Laura Fernandez, Jack and the Broadus, Reginald Albert, Madison Cooper, George Swan, Imani Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles H. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. We also have Joella Giles James Carswell. We have Liberta Adams, also known as Aunt Sis. We got Elder Shaka McNair, Anthony Brown, John Poor, Lottie Gauche, Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James, Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Chang, Lewis, Ronald Sheldon, Junior, Damian Todd, Westina Banks, Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac Cundo. I'm Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy, Ryan Ross, Riggins, Jamate, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McHale, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quay Sample, Candace Simmons, Sir McClain, Leonard Jones, Sade Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Elder Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Mr. Thornton, we got Johanna, Jasandra Lynette, Lewis, Anderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry S. II, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walton, Dan Lofty, Sue Walton, Emma Walton, James Randolph, Jow, Sonny. Pete Walton, William Walton, Fred Powers. We got Elijah Wan, Akeem, and Como. We got Alberta T. Davis. We got Charles Davis. We got Willie R. Mackey, also known as Dr. Creamy Mackey. We got Victor Bowden. We got Priscilla Kitty Berger. We got um, Lucy White, Robert Lee White. We got Emma Jean White Talton, Roger White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel White, Josh Carl White, Desi Woods. We got Tilar Woods Lennox. We got Jim Woods. We got Lizzie Woods. Juanita Alexander Brown, Cynthia Ann Wright, Richard Dorsey, Annie Simpson, Jamal Simpson, Virginia Hopkins, Joseph Simpson, Eddie Dorsey, Eleanor Hopkins, Edward Webster, Alice Webster, Ivy Webster, Arnella Willis, Ethel Lane, Samantha Dumont, Ethel Marshall. We got Steve Dougie Shelton. We got William Bill Walker. We got Carl Regal Johnson. We got Kim Gray. We got Stuart A. Johnson. We got Edward Young III. We got Isaac Jackson Sr. We got Drusilla Merle. We got Wayne Young, Christina Young, Thomas Young, Frank Merle. We got Sylvester Foster, James and Lizzie Winston. We got Abe and Julia Lawrence. We got Ozell Leather Sr. Gladys Coper, Ozell Leathers Jr. We got Geneva Jackson. We got R.J. Lacey, also known as Toot the Don. We got Sable Winston. We got Chris Kenny. We got Margaret Mentor. We got Mary Smith. We got one at Florine Sith Gibbs. We got Carl William Duncan Jr., Janet Callahan, Danny Hill, Miko D. Nicey, Andre Martin, Mabel Williams. We got Terry Brown, Teresa Biddle. 
Levana Kincaid, Carla Sawyer, Reverend Jesse Porter, Deacon Ezekiel Dennis, Brenda Porter. We got Craig Lee Jones. We got Granny Bueller, Papa Al Reza, Nanette Smith, George Gamble Sr., Joseph Gill, Lashonda Jamar, Lee Will Raleigh, Mona Yolanda Hunter, Yvonne Patrice Turner. We got Herman Reeves, Amanda Reeves, Josh Reeves, Lena Kate. We got Pam Johnson, Vera, and Reese Fisher. We got Jerry Jocelyn McCallop, also known as Mama Moon. We got Sheila Ann Lee. We got Pinchita Alba. We got Donald Brooks. We got Barbara Moses. We got Otis Pay. We got Ira Branson. We got Eric Winston. We got Darren Bridges. We got Francisco Matisse, also known as Sonny. We got Charles Stevenson Jr. We got King Pleasant. We got Sarah Keith. We got Lena Shepard, Brady Will and Mabel Haskins, Wilbur Shepard, Dennis Jackson. We got William Haskins, Geraldine Jackson, Henry Jackson, Senior Edward Jones. We got Leslie Travis. We got Charlize Barnes. We got Dewan Lewis Taylor. We got Madeline Mace. We got June Dandridge. We got Daisy Wilford. We got Frederick Smith. We got James and Amanda Baldwin. We got Linda Williams. We got Sally Williams. We got Vivian Stevenson. We got Irene Harris. Callie Williams, Abu Scales, Pat Williams, Miss Bertha Walker. Got Tony Ogletree, we got Grandma Marguerite, and we got Tracy Emery. Family, once again, we have done it. We lift up our ancestors successfully on this day, the 22nd day of the first month of the year of the new year of change for you. We are in what's called a five year, right? Two, zero, two, one equals five. Five is the number of freedom. At least in Giami. I know all, every, all systems got the In Giami, five represents freedom. So we built the first, the first four years up to a stable foundation, up into order. Now we are in a year of freedom. What you going to do with it? Because freedom ain't free. So if you ain't been building up to this, right now you might be stumbling into chaos. You know what I'm saying? And I feel for you, right? So we lift up our glass and we salute our ancestors that have allowed those of us that's been doing the work. That's why we have a toast for those that do the work. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to your freedom. What you going to make it look like? Because next year is family. <laughs> so don't make no kids. I'm just joking. But anyway, we lift up our glass, we salute our ancestors, and we say, I say, from their family, where do we go? Very simple step. We moving right into the present moment. Right now, the day is near. And we want to give all of the near babies a round of applause. That's right, family, family. I am asking you to open up your rectangular formation and seek out near. And if you need help in understanding what, I, what I'm talking about, family, go on to the free e-course. It's the free e-course. You know what I'm saying? Free e-course. Go on, check it out. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. You know what I'm saying? Share it. You know what I'm saying? All right, but anyway, back to the moment. We are on Nia, family. For those that don't speak the language, Nia means purpose. Um, the modic principle for the day is balance. The color is yellow, which happens to be my favorite color on black women. Um, rhythm. Man, Woo, every time I get to this point, I get hot. I, Lord have mercy. Woo, black woman, yellow, God, ah! Woo, all right, but anyway. Yeah, I'll open the lines up for you, Miss Navita. We got rhythm. We got, um, we got male name for the day is Kofi. Female name is Afua. We're lifting up our glass, and we are saluting this moment in time, our moment, this power, this power that you have, right? Saluting it. And we lift up this moment. Come on, family. Don't waste it. Don't, don't, don't be in the moment on accident. Be in the moment on purpose. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to tell you like I tell, like I tell my sons. Matter of fact, I wrote something. Told y'all the writing coming back. Been doing some haikus, so haiku by Hot Tim, it might be a book too, I don't know. Depending on how long this, this fits. But I had to write this for my baby. I believe in you, no matter what you do. I need you to remember this and know that it is true. I watch you go from crawling on the ground to getting into everything around. 
I believe in you more than you think I do. Even when you fail, I will be there for you. I need you to hear this and more importantly, feel it's true. I believe in you. Oh, my fault. I believe it's true. Believe in yourself because there's no one else that can do the things that you do. And just like I whispered to my kids in recent practice, I'm going to whisper to you. I believe in you. I believe you can live, live your day on purpose. But anyway, I had to write that for Gina G. That's Gina G's poem. Um, anyway, so uh, so we lift up our glass to this moment, to the power in this moment. We recognize the power in this moment, and we say, I say, from there, family, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? It's a very simple journey, man. From here, from the present moment, we move into our future. We toast our children. We toast our children's children. We toast our children's 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 children. On to infinity. Realizing that if we handle our handle our business in the moment, they will have moments. But if we waste it, we're giving away their inheritance. And you know what they will inherit? Dust. Dust. And the dust will rise up as our people are thrown into, as they call it, the dustbin of history. As if we never existed. People be driving around in a Negro car. <laughs> There'd be a new Jeep called Negro. You know what I'm saying? Keep playing. You better get on purpose. So we lift our glass up to our future generations. And we pledge to do what, we, what we're going to do. And we can't wait to see what our young people do with it. We lift it up and we say, I say. From their family, we move on. We move to all of our relations. And we say, I say from all of our relations. What do we do, family? It's a very simple journey. From all of our relations, we're moving straight to that selfish toast. This is for you. This is for those of you that's doing that work. This is for those of you that are reaching out. This is for those of you that are extending your energy into building your tribe and your community. Um, I got a post on my, um, on my blog called Tribe Over Business. It's handwritten, so it's going to be hard. <laughs> It's in my handwriting. It's going to be a hard read. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be a hard read. You know what I'm saying? But tribe over business. Those of you that's been putting tribe over business. Not saying that tribe can't be business, but tribe over business. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, go and check out the article. Let me know what you think. We lift up our glass. To those of you that's out there handling that business, allowing you to fill up your cup so that you can continue doing service. Take this moment for yourself. Be purposeful with it. What is it that you need right now in this moment to move towards your greatness? Because greatness is all it's, 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 it's only one decision away. <laughs> it's only one step away. It's only one request away. It's only one action away. We lift up our glass and we say, I say, from there, pop, from there, I was about to say power. I'm thinking about my, my dog. Y'all got to excuse me. Having memories. But anyway, we lift up our glass. And we move from that selfish toast to that tribal toast. Who is your accountability group? Family, get an accountability group. Some of y'all need it. Some of y'all need to have somebody that can have some real talk with you. We are, you know, because I know I, I know I be needed. I got people that talk me off the, off the, off the ledge. I got people that are, that are bring it to me in a way that I can hear it when I need to hear it. And that's called tribe. That's what we do. We hold each other accountable and we push, we push each other forward, right? Push each other forward. We build together. That's what tribes are for. And if you're not involved in a tribe that's doing that, you need to come on over to Giami Journey. Like I said, we ain't reached our 150 person max yet. It's actually 149 before we had to split up. <laughs> gotta break up the band, boys and girls. We gotta break up the band. We had 150. We reached 150 people. We gotta have two tribes. 
know what I'm saying? But anyway, we lift up our glass. We split like we split like microorganisms. We we follow the laws of nature. But anyway, we lift up our glass and we say, I say, my tribe is GME. Lift up your tribe. I'm sorry. From near family, last but not least, I want to toast the most magnificent, most beautiful, most uplifting, most outstanding, the wisest, and the bravest individual in the room. I want to lift up my glass to you. And we say, Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Family, I wish you peace, power, and joy. And 100 years. Now, check this out. Let me explain the 100 year thing, right? Every time we toast, we wish we 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 wish the group, we wish the tribe 100 years. So this means, see because so we don't have to do any any bigger number. Why? Because every time we toast, from the moment we end the toast, we extend our reign for another 100 years. So with, as long as we stay consistent, the energy is moving out into the future. So actually, I could say 10 years, but I just like 100. That's, you know, lifespan type thing. You know, boom. So it's almost, so if we was to calculate how many 100 years we done moved forward for the last 500 years, <laughs> my, my, my fault, for the last five years, because we've been toasted every day. I'm just trying to let y'all know. That's a lot of toasted. That's a lot of 100 years. How many 100 years is that, Kwame? He might be a little bit behind us. Y'all letting Kwame be over there on Giami Journey, um, GNJ.media or Kwanzaa 365 by itself again. Family, I told y'all we got our own platform. So, you know, like I said, those of you going over there, you know what I'm saying? We can show you how to work it. But anyway... Um, we got a request from Sister Navita, and I'm going to go on and fulfill her request. But before we do that, let me do this. All right. Busting out. We're busting out on the funk. Busting out. We're busting out on some serious funk. Busting out. Am I out? Am I out? I can't see y'all comments. Let me go. I got to turn on my other screen so I can see the comments. All right. So I got the chats up. All right. We're going to open up these lines. Call in number, black line, black line is 614-556-4535. I shouldn't actually be using this line because now we got the line that I can send you a link and you could come in and I can see your beautiful face on this lovely, magnificent morning. So we got Navita C. Nelson on the line, the creator of Blunt Talk. Mm -hmm. What's going on, girl? Love and happiness ah. to everyone inside and outside of my cycle. Unless you are a, somebody I don't really care for and you're an asshole, then I don't wish you none of that. That's just the way I roll. But I'm one of the people, like, if you break up, we break up, and you did some real shitty shit, I'll be like, I wish you, you know, people like, oh, I wish you the best. I'll be like, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker, I don't wish you the best. <laughs> what the hell? Well, I want your whole world to crumble, bitch. But that's me. <laughs> well, good morning to you too. Good morning. I'm out of. You you feeling you, good this morning? That's good. That's good. What, what's making you feel good this morning? What's going on? I got an awesome idea. And then I'm bringing to the table for a new show for the family. Mm. And um, it's going to be awesome. I'll talk to you about it off the air. But it's uh, I haven't seen this done at all, period, anywhere. Because I am an innovator and I am the abstract rebel. And yeah. I just come that's up with some the, shit that I be like, you know what, I ain't never seen this shit done. 
and I want to bring it to the family because I think the family will appreciate it. But let me get all the details in order because we are building our own station. Mm. You know, when you tune on to PBS or NBC and you see what's showing, there's always something on the air. Word. We're going to start doing that with GMA Journey Media, Kwanzaa 365 Media, where you can tune in every day and watch a show of choice or shows of choice. Shows of choice. Because it's going to be it's going to be shows coming from different places, family. Ancestors said if you build it, they will come. And that's what we did. We built it. And now people are and what? Coming. And one thing people need to realize, which I think we should start doing, family, you know, um, we might even have to put disclaimers before shows. Like, these are not necessarily the opinion of yeah, that's Giamme true. Journey Media, because we will have a variety of people, and we're not going to be like, well, you can't be on the air if you don't agree with what I agree with. Right. You know, we want to offer something for everyone. I got you. So, you know, we might have to start doing that. Oh, yeah. And it's okay to it's, have differ of opinion. It's okay. It's okay. okay. You can be Christian, and I cannot be Christian. Oh, you we know, can, I think we, we don't. We got that, that in Giamme. Don't we got that in Giamme? Don't don't we yes, have we that do. dynamic in Giamme? You know what I'm saying? Like yes, I told people do. years ago, Elder Nomo came to my house, and he asked me what type of witchcraft I was practicing, because <laughs> at his foot. My dog was laying, and then my cat came and laid on my dog. Then he saw a young blood walk in the house. Then he saw a crip walk in the house. Then he saw a folk in the house, and he said, what type of magic is this? <laughs> I say, dog, under the, under, in, in this house, we fly up under Giamme. Okay. All that is out there. You see what I'm saying? The bloods ain't feeding them. The crips ain't feeding them. The, the folks ain't feeding them. Uh, ain't none of the, ain't none of the, uh, ain't, ain't the difference between the dog and cat is not feeding them. The Giammi house is feeding them. And that's what we got to understand because a lot of the fighting we be having is because people can't eat. We want everything free. We some, you, you got to make it possible for the people to eat. You know, for I, sure. you know, I'm for sure. So it, uh, it's crazy. So I would have, we would have different incidents where we would have other young people that was involved with us that would have issues with the gangs in their neighborhood. And we would be able to just actually send people <laughs> that was in that gang over to that neighborhood and be like, right. yo, y'all don't mess with him. He ain't, he ain't none of this. I am though. See, and we got to be, and like you said, it don't matter. Who you? If you for our people, I'm I'm with you. I'm rocking with you. I'm with you. I'm okay. with you. But I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take us off. But I know that's you okay. Enough. No, 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 no. That's just I'm just rolling up. The, I wanted to bring that news, and I just wanted to uh, talk. You know what is it? You know, come on and maybe discuss um, the news with you as far as on the timeline news. I don't know if we got and, any news uh, on the timeline. I've been, you, you you know what I, you, you know I've been dealing with. I mean, I was supposed to come down here and cut some videos. I got, I got some bomb memes that I'm about to drop, but I couldn't take the time last night because once again, the creative, the creation suckers were upon me. Once again. Creation I mean, suckers as an energy vampires. Energy vampires, thing. exactly. Energy okay. vampires were on me last night, so it's like they've been on me too. Oh man, I'm trying to. I didn't. I missed the homework or something. My mind, gra- this has this. Then I need to stop letting it, but it keeps creeping back certain things into my mind that when a person may um, your character when your character is is put in question that sometimes can disturb you like especially from somebody that you may um value their opinion and things you know it can be disturbing to your chi 
and you got to bring that shit back in, bring it back in. But I have to say, I have been disturbed for these last few days because I don't even like having to deal with confrontation. I'm not good with confrontation. And um, I try to avoid it because I'm just not, that's something I just, I don't, I, I get physically sick from it. You know what I mean? Physically sick. So it's not my thing. So it's had me off for a couple of days, but I'm getting back on today. Right. right. I, you know, I got back on my homework, hopped up on my homework about four o'clock this morning. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm getting shit caught up because the last couple of days I really haven't done what I needed to do yesterday, especially I didn't do any work yesterday. Homework. Let the people know what you're going so to school now, for. Um, I have a double major that I'm taking in uh, criminology and criminal justice, which I don't have to do the four years because I've already been to college. So I'm not sure exactly how long, but I just know I won't have to do the full four. And then I hope to, if memory is allowing me to, do three years of law school, take the bar, get a law degree. I know I'll be old as hell and I don't, and I have memory issues, so I don't want to use that degree to practice law. I'm just using that degree to open doors for other things I'm trying to do. And we're making making actual change in the criminal justice system. And one thing about um, being in the system of white supremacy, especially as you know, that being an area area of activity is um, criminal. The what they call it, criminal justice, the criminal the court system is an area of activity. Right. Sometimes they even get a seat at the table. You have to have certain requirements especially being black, because they'll be, oh, well, we don't talk to nobody that doesn't have a degree or experience in the field. Right, oh, right, right, well, right. Well, this right. is for lawyers. Only right, lawyers right. have access to this. You know, right. so I've been told that, and now I'm like, oh, I got that. Let me come on in. I got all of that. Here's all the requirements that the person said. So when you said, when you done beat up an inmate, and then you, his parents can't come and see him because the only person that can visit him is his lawyer, I'm a lawyer. I'm his lawyer. Hire me. Give me your dollar, and I'll be right on over there and see what's going on with your son or your daughter in the prison mm. system. This is the type of things I'm trying to get to because so you, a you, lot of times, a lot of times, go ahead. This I'm sorry. system is very. This system is designed so wickedly. It, it's really. I, it, it's a very intricate system of. Like, you know, like when people were talking about Kamala Harris and well, she's a prosecutor, people mad at her because she does, she's doing her job. She's supposed to prosecute. Prosecution is part of her job, but her number one part of her job is to be fair and not biased. That's the number one part. And then the prosecution comes after that, for real. But what happens with prosecutors, and I have the documentation, anybody ever want to question me to prove it, are they, they, for example, if you got in a robbery somehow, and they say, oh, you were identified in a robbery, which statistics show that even, what do they call that shit, when you look at somebody, you had witness Profi- testimony, too, like eyewitness testimony, oh, eyewitness, okay. or they've seen you, eyewitness testimonies, many of those are flawed as shit. Because people, especially when it comes to African Americans, because there's already a preconceived notion that we all look alike sometimes, and you know what I'm saying. So that factors into the whole. Oh yeah, I seen him rob the convenience store because the mayor had eyewitnesses, and then come to find out the person wasn't even nowhere in the damn vicinity. Mm. Mm. But that's a whole nother story. But prosecutors like a Kamala will say you robbed the store, you're accused of robbing a store. So instead of them just charging you with robbery, they'll give you for one incident, five counts of robbery, felony kidnapping, because somebody may have been in the store. Right. So felony or or cause of the even just if the attendant was in the store, then the attendant felt like you wouldn't let him leave, which is common in a goddamn store robbery, but They'll pile these charges up on you, right? Right. So then you like, well, shit, I'm going to get an attorney. When an attorney sees all those charges that you have, they're like, well, shit, I'm going to have to charge you $150,000 to take your case. Now, prosecutors know this. That's why they build up all these charges on you 
If you rob one motherfucker at one time, it should only be one charge. You see what I'm saying? That makes right. absolutely no mathematical sense. But they do it. Prosecutors do it all time, every day. That's their MO. So now you can't get a lawyer. So they know now the people in the um, jail know that you can't get a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? If they uh, mistreat you, they can put you in a hole, beat your ass, and then your you could your family may not have heard from you. You could call your family member. I mean, your family member can call and they'll say, "Oh, that person is fine." And you say, "Well, I need to see him." And they can say, "Well, he's under restriction. He's Ooh. only allowed to be seen by his lawyer." Ooh. Well, you can't afford to hire a lawyer. They know that. I would come in. So and say. I'm your lawyer. Let me see what is going on with this individual. You see what I'm saying? And they have to, by law, whether they're in the hole or what have you, under some type of restriction, you have to let an inmate speak to their lawyer. When you mm. So you want to put yourself That's in a position where you can serve the community um, in a way where you are able to uh, communicate with inmates that possibly could not receive any type of assistance because they have been priced out of justice. Correct. Good way to put it. Priced out of justice. Oh yeah. I mean it. I've I've experienced it. I have I have had several friends who had to basically plead because they got priced out. Because they they, they would stretch the case out so long that mm-hmm. by the time mm-hmm. by the time you go a year, a year and a half of paying these lawyer fees, you have absolute you stand absolutely <laughs> no chance. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got, I got family that ha- that that for crimes that, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I for the last five years, it would pain me every time I would see um, somebody accused of betraying the whole country, get probation or 18 months or something like that. You know, like for example, watching these people get pardons, and I got. I have I had a brother that was locked up for almost for over five years for what would be considered a white collar crime, and he was doing dope dope man time. I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm really That's really what confused. They do. That's what they do. That's what they, they do. do. And I think this is like I said, this is a passion of mine because I feel like this is a slavery, you know, in another form. It is. I don't have to say it, it is. And the ACLU says that there's approximately 20,000 people in the prison system that are innocent. 20,000. 20,000. Now, but check this out. Brother Kwame says, compare that. See, because family, we have to point and, and, put, and we have to point out this stuff because a lot of this stuff we have become so used to that we make it normal. And this is not normal. This is not normal. This is not how people supposed to live. Brother Kwame said, Sister Navita, what we're talking about, he said, compare that with the charges against the marauders of the Capitol building, the insurrectors, right. the overthrowers. You know the what I'm saying? The treasonous. The treasonous <laughs> individuals that ran up in there. That nobody, I don't think nobody got murder charges yet. No, they sure haven't. But they are responsible for all the deaths that happened on that Capitol, and everybody that's charged need to receive murder charges. And that's where our famous, our our fabulous vice president, who has a history in prosecution, even though she may not be able to actually prosecute the individuals in her position, but she has a platform that she can bring attention to that. And she has a law background and she very much knows what that those people should be charged with with the income um, in commission of a felon. Family. I just want you to understand this because if that was us, and I know we keep saying that, but let's don't even take it to the Capitol. Sister Navita brought this to my attention. And w- w- what did you call that rule, Navita? It's called in commission of a felony. Where if somebody dies, whether you killed them or they were killed in the, like the young man here recently, there was two young men robbed a convenience store. The convenience store's uh, owner 
shot and killed one of the guys, and they've charged his friend with the murder because the murder was committed in commission of a felony, which means if you are committing a felony crime and somebody dies at the hands of whether it be you or another person, you are responsible for that murder. So everybody that is arrested for the 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 Capitol building need and to have... there would be anybody that's inside, anybody that, that was inside that Capitol building at that time should be charged with the murder of uh, anybody that died that day. Anybody that died that day. Because, I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, because listen, we don't necessarily, I mean, we would love to change the system, but if we can't change the system, let's at least get it to operate correctly. We got young boys in Columbus, Ohio, and in many of your cities right now that, that, you, that are listening to me right now, who have young people who are serving murder charges for a murder that happened that they didn't even did, that they didn't even do, but they got charged with it because they were in the commission of a felony when it happened. We have people that died while people were marauding the Capitol building. We got individuals saying, I mean, we they're coming out and doing interviews and talking about how it's too extreme. And I'm telling you, the, the individuals that are going to lose the most from this, if we do not start speaking about it now and putting pressure on the politics, is that they're going to sell black folks out. That's the history. That's the history. That's the history. How did they alleviate the and pressure between the North and the South after the Civil War? They sold you out. How did they alleviate the pressure um, with, 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 with all these little black towns? They sold you out. So what makes us think it's going to be any different now? Any different. Okay. Any different. And we had all this, those this, executive this, orders signed on his first day of presidency. How many of them directly affects your black life? Well, I seen someone post yesterday that we are stupid for even the America, the government works for all people. Black people must be stupid if they think it's supposed to cater to them specifically. Wow. The government is, does not operate they like that. don't operate that. like that? That's what, she, that's what she said. So what happens when there's a single legislation that deals with immigration? Is they not dealing with a certain group? Thank you. That's a good point because I use the how, American how, Indian how about, and what Obama how about, did for them. How about the, the the law that he signed to protect you to be able to say whatever sex or whatever your whatever you want to say you are at that point in time does not does that not affect the single group? Right. America has always taken care of separate groups. They have always done it. But they get offended because they 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 are being their feet are being held to the fire because now we're starting to recognize it. The Homestead Act. That was done the for homestead a certain group. Act. The Homestead Act is, ba is basically where they allow people to move out west and they would give them land if they stayed on it for for a certain amount of time. And you weren't allowed to be to be involved with it. So that was that was a program for white people. A specific group. American white had you the had same to be American. Thing for Native Americans, I forget what it was called, but for them to move out uh, like to the areas of New York and in that area, they had the same type of thing that was specific. The Native American something act it was called. <clears throat> and they gave you housing, jobs, medical and all of that if you moved in this area. It was like a relocation type thing. We're gonna get you off the plantation and let you get started here um, north. However, that shit was a farce, but they put the shit out there. But then <laughs> the fucked up part was, yeah, we're going to give you a job, a crib, and medical. You come on out here, we're going to take care of you, get you off the reservation. Then when they got up north, the houses were shitty as hell, located in the worst neighborhoods you can think of. The, um, the jobs were not just, I don't want to say, egregious in... It was the heavy labor jobs. They right. were very low paying jobs. Right. Right. To where they couldn't even still maintain themselves. So it was a vicious, and then the medical shit was subpar. 
So guess what they ended up doing? Taking their ass back to the reservation. Mm. You see? Just like mm. when uh, enslaved Africans, they put out there on their own, and some of them ended up having to go back to the plantation. To the plantation. And they just changed the title. You're no longer a slave. You have been promoted to a sharecropper. They change language. Okay. That's all they do. That's all they do with us. Mm-hmm. 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 You know what I'm saying? And then they come back and say that we can't do nothing specifically for your group, but politics is about serving specific groups. The Republicans r- represent a specific group. And we have to mm-hmm. get away from mm-hmm. allowing people to group us into this POC thing. It's very, very dangerous, and it always washes us out. Because what you start to find out is that other people will always fight for their interests. And we will sit at the table and be like, you know, they got a point. It's not that they have a point. Right. It's that you have a complex. You have a Jesus complex. And, and let me explain what I mean. You believe. Thank you, Mama Margarita. Thank you for the comments, by the way. Go ahead, talk to him. You think that you are supposed to be the sacrifice. We have accepted that. And we have to change that. We can no longer be the sacrifice because generations and generations of us have been sacrificing. Now it's time for our next generation to be able to be who they are and be the best that they can be without having to even deal with all this stuff. It's it's, it's getting ridiculous Mm -hmm. now. The policing was, policing is government and they police for a specific group they police a specific group what do you mean government don't sit don't serve other people interests? and that's been proven that's not theory that's been proven it's been written and documented certain know. groups get tax breaks certain groups um uh go to their uh uh their politicians and get certain holidays what do you mean so when people start coming at us stupid like this, I want to make sure you have the information to talk with them about because I'm not opposed to being in partnership with anybody. Now, let me be clear on that. But what I am opposed to is for any other group to feel that they have the right to put their, their needs and their wants in front of mine. Not just in front of yours. Yours don't even aren't even don't on the even, table. Don't even we don't even deserve to talk about it. Or we'll talk about that. Later. I'll dismiss you. Or we have. Oh, you, you're, you, we don't do groups. That's the that's the that's what they'll tell. We don't do that type of. We, I, we serve all Americans. Right. You know they'll that's, and it's like wait a minute what what is that like uh, Doctor Marimba? Uh, excuse me, Marimba Ani talked about in the Urugu that rhetorical ethics shit. We. Have a we have a mental issue when we have a black when we got a black group of politicians who say that their motto is that we are the conscience of the country. Sure. We put them in place so that they could be the conscience of the country. No, you need to be the fighters for your people. This is what we need. And we need to stop being apologetic about it because we have been allowing our interests to be pushed to the back for so long that everybody expects it and feel insulted when we say we want something for us. That's like your crackhead cousin getting mad at you. That's like your crackhead cousin getting mad at you because finally you built up the sense to be like, no, I ain't giving you no money. Well, you gave me money yesterday. (laughs) <laughs> Come on. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Navita. I didn't mean to interrupt you. You're fine. You are fine. It's your show. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 just, that... I just don't want to be mean like on a sh- no, uh, on nah, show. I, know I just it. don't want to be mean like some people are on a show. Anyway. I ain't going to say no I... You ain't got to say it because we know it. Um, but I think that many times, um, hell, I don't forgot what I was going to say now. That's, that's why she, old that's why she only want to get the, the lawyer's license. She don't want to practice the law. <laughs> <laughs> she be in the, she be in the court uh-uh. be like, your honor, excuse me. Um, 
What is this case about? Okay. <laughs> she lean over. She lean over to her client. Excuse me. Um, what are you charged with? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. Could you imagine right. being in the court of law and your your lawyer mm-hmm. lean over to you and say, ah, ah. First off, I've got your name. And second off, can you tell me what we in here for? That'd oh. be the equivalent of having a, a public defender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I am so sorry. That's the equivalent. Because that is, ooh, that was, that was, oh, that was good, Navita. That was a good one. We, she, You deserve a round of applause for that. Hold on. That, oh, man, because that you, actually happened. You. That actually happened. Oh, you know how many, on average, how much time a couple of defenders spend on a client case? Hold on, let them finish Let's clapping finish. so they can hear you. Hold on. How oh, much? Okay. How much time does the average does it uh, does the average um 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 what is it? Public defender. D- public defender spend on the case. Twenty minutes. Damn. So, and, and many of our young many of our young people, and even some of the old ones that get caught up in stuff, got individuals who are only able to get dedicate 20 minutes for their life. And, and they know this. And, people know this. And they will assume that they, I mean, they like she said, people know this, so they will throw up on the table for you uh, a plea. A plea. That you 80%. Am, uh-oh, say it. Say 80%. It. Of cases that go to court never see a jury or a judge. Eighty percent never go to trial because they're pleaded out. Eighty percent. I'm putting my I'm putting my life in the hands of somebody who spends about twenty minutes on my case. Yeah. Mm. Lord have mercy. But let's go into a little bit of news. Black women say, let me just say this real quick. Go Black ahead. women. Then you hear in the on the black community, we you'll hear people say, women and men, um, well, man, you know, black women, I can't find a man. Well, you're grossly, your population or your pool to pull from is not, I think, what is it like? The minimum they say in the black community, available black men, keyword available, is seven women to one man. Some say 12. Part, a large part of that is not due to the fact that the woman can't find one. There's just not any to pull from. And you know what I'm saying? Right. Because of mass incarceration that Joe Biden put in, the increased homosexuality and early death. The primary one being mass incarceration. So that that umbrella breaks up families, stops families from being even ever, you know, coming into fruition. I don't think people understand the what that does mass incarceration really does to the black community. Oh, no, we don't. We don't. We started And that's see- why with the people at the Capitol building, they are not. They know that them people have family. You dig? Right. And they take that into account when For when sure. they go to court. Do you, you're going to hear about it. As a matter of fact, they are going to play this out to a point to where something else is going to pop up, and that's when all these people are going to go to trial, and we ain't, and, and most of us is going to miss it. We're not here at Jeremy Jeremy. They're not media. even gonna go to trial. They're gonna get him a really cushy plea. Ooh, you think so? Oh yeah, they'll take a plea, and that plea may say they might even get a three-year prison sentence, which means they'll do six months and come home, and then they could do the rest on the shelf. They'll get a cushy plea behind closed doors. Yeah, you know, just a just plea to this, and we'll just give you three years so we can make it look good and people be like good he was sitting three years but really you only gonna do six months and we gonna let you out so that's how that's gonna work out um, and that's how that usually plays out for them and they put a big old show on tv like we convicted them motherfuckers for y'all we is doing our job we didn't take no shit and we putting out a message but the message is behind closed doors that we got you let's just make it look good for look make it look good but we got you just like when ice cube was on uh not ice cube dave Chappelle had an episode about um 
black people and white people being reversed, kind of like the movie White Man's Burden, right? So, um, went on the Coda bus, the last black person stepped off the Coda bus, and it was like all the fancy foods dropped down, there was drinks and shit that came up, they had champagne in the cut, you know what I'm saying? But in the when in the public view, it looked like they were being treated just like anybody else was being treated. But as soon as the blacks left the room on the bus, the 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 charcuterie came out, the caviar, which I wouldn't eat, but you know the champagne and all that stuff. So mm. it's going to show you that we are showing you that we're just operating just like we're we're treating everybody fairly. But once you was not able to see what was going on behind closed doors, they showed that that was not happening. But mm. Go ahead. I was trying to fill in for you because you was on the cellular device. You cold, girl. You cold. See, that's the, that's what teamwork do. That's that was a call about something that I had to do at on the uh, on the adventure today, and I, I was like, oh, because I was like, who calling me doing my show? So and I need to go and handle that. But you know. But what we're going to do is, now there's a couple of articles that I'm going to throw out here. I want y'all to check out. And then we're going to get up out of here because me, me and my girls got to get out of here today. and Because I got stuff I'm, I need to do. And I know y'all do too, so we want to make sure everybody get off to a positive start. So uh, I threw up my little, got my little haiku. I'm getting my haiku back. You know what I'm saying? Um, parlor. Federal judge blocks parlor's bid to, restore, to be restored on Amazon Web Services. So now... What's going on with this, remember, parlor was one of the things that the um, insurrectionists used to communicate. Whether you agree with their politics or not, what's happening is that a major company is, re is refusing to do business with them because they disagree with their philosophy, which means that uh, Amazon or Google or any of these uh, net places disagree with you and take you off and you will have no standing in court especially if you can't afford a lawyer because parlor can afford a lawyer which means that now we are running under a monopoly so one of the one of the best things that might be happening pretty soon is that you're going to see a lot of these social media places and a lot of these big tech businesses start to be broken up it's coming, family. It's coming, so get ready. See, because if not, then in a minute, I mean, it's all we already got an oligarchy. We just got new young people getting up in there making money off of your information. Right? And they already got plans for you. You know, you might not like the plans, but they got plans for you. I'm just letting you know. Um, Scott Galloway, why 2021 will be the year of reckoning for big tech. And in here, this dude, Scott Galloway. Um, I um I follow him on YouTube. He makes he makes pretty good predictions, and he's one of those that agrees that social media is gonna have a reckoning coming up coming up very soon, family. Um, here go another one. Anti Facebook ad. Now I'm telling y'all right now, if me we could do it, why can't we we? Me we is an anti anti Facebook app. We we see surges in downloads amid Big tech scrutiny. See, and a lot of people are like, you know, why are you building a network? You know, you don't need blah, blah, blah. You can use you. I, I prefer to have my own. I can still use their stuff. But I think, it's, I, I think it's healthy to have your own. How about you, Navita? I think it's very healthy to have our own. Mm. Mm. But some of us, some of us don't. You know, we satisfy with where we are. And as y'all can see, I've been doing a lot of a lot of uh, haiku writing. Um, so I wrote one called Race Games. You go on through and try to struggle through and read it. You know what I'm saying? Those that love me might go on and read it. So the haiku is, what is it, five, seven, and five? Five, seven, and five. Okay. So this one I got, Retirement Dreams. It's Retirement Dreams. Illusions that do not work as wealth gap widens. Haiku. Code with them, code with them. COVID. I've been I, I've been on a haiku break for about five years. Still got it. Still got it. 
But um, uh, and also, family, you can check out get your day shirt, your daily toasted shirt, or you get your day born shirt. I just figured out I don't have a daily toasted shirt up in here. I'm gonna have to go and fix that. I'm gonna have to put the daily toasted shirt in the store. But we got stores all over, family. But yo, this is Brother Hot Tim. I want to make sure y'all understand that I love you. Um, let's keep let's keep building, let's keep working, let's keep building, let's keep building tribe and tribing up. All right. Sister Nabi, you got any farewell words for them? Well, uh, everybody have a great day and have a great life. Mm. And I'm out. I'm sorry. Peace out, fam. Women, but the most important goddesses were black, not just for the African now, in the civilization of the Greek. The Greek was so profoundly affected by the Africans that the goddess of chastity was a black woman, Artemis. The goddess of wisdom was a black woman, Minerva. The goddess of beauty was a black woman, Diana. And many of their great mythological figures which were critical to the vision of history, the history of the Greeks in the Odyssey, the woman who draws, who has the power to draw Odysseus and all his crew into her is Circe, who's represented as a black woman with African features on the Greek vases. The woman who helps Jason win the golden fleece is a black woman, Medea. The woman who marries Perseus, the Greek hero, is a... Family, yo, thank you for joining us, right? And I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about the Army journey. See some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe. Tribe up with us and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here. And it'll probably be somewhere in here. Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, and let's build together. self-care, self-love, and repeat. We are what we create in this life. Bombskin & Co. chooses to create something innovative and unforgettable. Check out our website for more information. Spirit Over Flesh LLC is a wellness-based business where we heal through words. I'm Tiandra. I'm the founding servant leader. It is a black owned, woman owned business that was founded in Ohio, but that can serve the world. And through virtual sessions, either by phone or video conference, we have a conversation. We always start with a 15 minute consult. 
where we just make sure that I learn a little bit about you, you learn some about me, and then we schedule some time to be intentional about your wellness journey. During the time, it's about education and empowerment. You are your own best doctor from within. So I'm literally someone who is just intentional in the space and drawing questions out of you to get you further on your wellness journey. Sessions are typically starting at $80, but if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're gonna go ahead and take 20% off. It's about getting you well so that we can be well, right? Kuji Chagalia and Ujima, collective responsibility. So grateful for the opportunity to support you in your wellness journey. If you're interested, go to my website, spiritoverfleshllc.com. There's a button that says, let's connect, fill out the form and I'll get right back to you. Again, that's spiritoverfleshllc.com. I look forward to supporting you in your wellness journey and healing through words. Are you heading out of town or have a special occasion? What about birthdays, anniversaries, or reunions? Get the best deals and inexpensive rental car rates, mid-sized sedans, compact cars, and more. We have a variety of fleet vehicles to accommodate any and all of your rental car needs. Make a reservation today at your local budget rental car on Hamilton Road in Whitehall. Call 614-863-7500. <laughs> I'm Carla and my sister Karen and I own two natural sisters. We've been in business for five years and we sell a line of natural bath body and candle products. Let's take a look. Follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Two Natural Sisters. All items that are in stock will be shipped within 24 to 48 hours. As a promotional item, we offer a CD of black romantic poetry of self-love and coupled love, and 50% discount on Sister Locks, Brother Locks by consultant Sapphire, Donetta, and Hottie. If you have any questions, you can reach us at customercare at twonaturalsisters.com. Enjoy and happy Kwanzaa. What's going on? My name is Doe. I am the owner and creator of Madeline Jen. Madeline Jen is best described as a celebratory art experience that exudes hella blackness. Initially, the company was founded to provide a luxurious but affordable art experience and it since transformed itself into something a bit more spiritual. By walking in what I believe to be my truth, I've been able to get in contact with my ancestors and use my platform and my art, my gift, to tell their untold stories. I do that by using different textures, by utilizing different mediums, colors, and just making things pop out so that it's open for interpretation. I love, 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 love creating, and I can't wait to be of service to you. Thank you. I am a genius. My ancestors were geniuses. My ancestors have made me a genius in all that I think, say, and do. I must declare myself a genius. I am a genius. Whenever I am myself, I practice my geniusness and do great things. All my thoughts, choices, and deeds must express my geniusness. I am a genius. My decisions must always be in the best interest of myself, my family, my people, and my God. Only then will I and everyone I know know that I am a genius. I am a genius.
At all times, my geniusness must reflect my culture. My geniusness must serve my God. My geniusness must make me be one in love and harmony with my family. My geniusness must protect my people. Yes. yes, at all times, I must demonstrate excellence because I am a genius. The Purpose Driven Society is a Black-owned, woman-owned business local to Columbus who creates accessories that have intentional messaging. Our specialty are buttons. Buttons can be weared anywhere, on a shirt, on a book bag, on a hat. The beautiful thing about buttons is that you can change them and switch it up depending on your mood or the day. For election day, we wore a very intentional button. On my book bag, my student's book bag, it says, you are already intelligent, educate yourself. Buttons are empowering with the messages that we create. Again, we do them very intentionally. At the Purpose Driven Society, we're minding our black owned business and hope that she'll help mind ours too by doing business with us. Our buttons go for $3 for one, five for two, $7 for three. But if you mention Kwanzaa 2020, we're doing a special where you'll get a, an assortment of buttons for just $20 and we'll ship anywhere in the country. So again, that's the Purpose Driven Society. We can be re reached at the Purpose Driven Society at Outlook.com. Send us an email and we will put together a very intentional bag of buttons for you and ship it straight to your home. Happy Kwanzaa. Thanks for doing business with us. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pie? What is a monkey without his truth? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. pray. Yes, ma'am.